me and the Squishmallows decided to take a ride. That sucked them up into the machine. I found this Avery, but I did not have 5,000. Hey everyone, welcome back to this final episode of the Squishmallows game Let's Play series that I've been doing. Um, so I just wanted to check out a few more things in the game before I wrap this up. I went around collecting flowers uh, to see if I could sell them to Emily, um, who buys them for very little money because I wanted to save up to get some final Squishmallows, including my Daiso Avery, who I was hoping to get from the market. I'm doing things a little differently today, it's voiceover, uh, since I was playing for a while and just wanted to grab some clips and then talk about them later. So um, next I went down to the beach and they gave me a fishing rod, so I wanted to check out the fishing mechanic to sell some fish and make some money. And once again got entranced by a large aquarium. Me and the Squishmallows really enjoyed it. And so I tried my shot at fishing, and Hans is so cute in that inner tube. I love how they actually go into the water with you. It's adorable. Uh, my first attempt was not successful. Uh, I scared the fish away. Next time, I gave it another shot, and I got it. So that was exciting. I got a small fry, which actually was a little less exciting. It wasn't worth very much, uh, but I did catch a few other things and sold them to Bob, I think was his name, and made a little bit of money. Um, it's really actually not very much unless you catch the bigger, more impressive fish, which took me some time to track down. That evening in the game, I happened upon this beautiful pier that I'd seen from the beach, and it was amazing. Um, this ferris wheel was beautiful, and me and the Squishmallows decided to take a ride. They were kind of hopping up all over it. Uh, that was fun. But yeah, it, it had a beautiful view, very chill music. I really love this ferris wheel. And it's fun seeing other people in the game just kind of running around, getting to interact with them a little bit too. I did that a bit this time around as I got more comfortable with the game. But just uh, enjoy the vibes for a moment. And, of course, I <laughs> jumped off it. So I also wanted to check out the dance club, and I added my own music here because I wasn't sure if the music they were playing in here might be copyrighted. Um, but yeah, this is in town, and I just wanted to see what was up with this. Um, so I wandered around, nobody else was in here, and I thought I would give the mini game a try, the dance-off, um, which I did all by myself with my Squishmallows. Um, I'm not usually very good at these kind of things, especially using keys, so I struggled through it. Uh, it. It was going okay at first, and I feel like I look pretty good out on the dance floor. Then, as you can see, uh, things heated up pretty quickly, and then really went kind of out of control. Um, so I was just spamming the buttons at this point. But we, we had a good time. Um, I got a lot of misses, but also some okays, and somehow I got three stars fantastic on that and made a little money. So yeah, I'm not, not too mad at the club. So I found out that they had one of the Squishmallows I own in real life, Emma, and I wanted to get her with the money that I earned from fishing and dancing. So we did another claw machine, which is always nerve-wracking. Uh, this one was the hardest I think I've really faced yet because she was just, like, squished in the back there, but I got her! I got Emma! Yay! So her bio, Emma has a heart of gold and loves to put that into her artwork. What's her next arts and crafts project? She is creating friendship bracelets for her best friends Lana and Luke. Lana's almost my name. So I equipped her, and we got ourselves another Squishmallow pal to hang out with us. Oh, and then I hit a bit of an error, because I guess I could only have three at a time. So I had to swap somebody out. And who did I pick? Winston. Had to go to the background for now. So I could check out Emma. It's fun to get the ones that I have in real life. That's one of the reasons I've really been wanting Avery, who is not available in any of the claw machines. So I knew I'd have to go 
to the market, um, because my partner told me that people sold them there. So I wanted to see if I could get him. I also wanted to check out the general store, which I hadn't been in yet, and I wasn't really sure what the purpose of this place was, but they sell items for your house, and also food and drinks that you can get for your Squishmallows, like pizza and soda, things like that, cookies, popcorn, coffee, and they'll often request those things of you. So I find myself coming in here and getting stuff for them to feed them. Yeah, it's a cute little store, though. They also have the scooter that you can get for quite a lot of money. I didn't end up doing that. I'm not exactly sure how that works. So I decided to do a little more house decorating before we wrap things up because I had talked about adding a little more to my home. And I, of course, had to get this pizza wall art because of my pizza shirt <laughs> that was required. Um, I also wanted a bookshelf because I'm a nerd and I like to read and I have a lot of bookshelves in my house. And then I also spotted this cute little record player and I thought that that would be fun and it wasn't too much money. So I grabbed that and just wanted to add a few little accessories to my house. So I came in here and decorated a bit. So this is my house now. Added a few new little accessories to it that I had bought from the store. It's a little finicky to place things in this game, to be honest. It's not the easiest thing. I cut out some of the struggling with that, uh, especially moving some of the furniture. But yeah, I wanted to put my bookshelf in this corner here and move the couch over a little bit. Finally uh, uh, struggled with that a little, got that up there. And then I wasn't sure where to put the pizza, and I decided it would look cute in the kind of kitchen area. Makes sense, right? Sit at the table, eat pizza, look at pizza, wear pizza. Pizza is life. And I also decided to move the aquatic Sea Squad poster into the bathroom. It just kind of made more sense than the bedroom. <laughs> so yeah, I like how my house is coming along. I think it's really cute. And I'll do a little bit more decorating before the episode wraps up. And my Swishmallows love this bathroom. <laughs> so uh, I also wanted to change the color of the outside of my house because I kept forgetting to do that. And I went with a lovely shade of purple. So let's see how that looks. Went outside, back out into the neighborhood. And it's really cute. I love purple. I love my purple house. My squishmallows love it. It's our place. So um, my partner also has been decorating their house and wanted to show it to me. And I thought it looked really amazing. The, the star wallpaper is really, really cool. Um, they did kind of like a black and white theme in the bedroom. This is very much their aesthetic with black and red as their favorite colors. And they even got a door for the bathroom. Also got a record player like me. And I was having trouble getting into the bathroom, <laughs> um, so they had to open the door for me. Can't get in. Help me, please, PJ. Um, yeah, and they wanted to show me they did purple wallpaper, which they thought I would really love, and I did, um, for the bathroom. So it's kind of like my, my guest bathroom or something, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was fun. Got to do house tours. And then I went back in uh, to do something that I've also been talking about, which is making Hans a big Hans. Getting an upgrade from, let's say, he's probably like a 5 inch now to whatever the next size up is for him. Um, an 8 inch, perhaps? So yeah, I needed a third Hans. Uh, you need three to do the upgrade machine. So I got another little baby Hans. Didn't equip it because we are checking out the machine. So Jenny told me how to use the machine. You need three to make them into a bigger one. It's a little intimidating, but yeah, one of my goals before I wrap this up was to upgrade one of my squishes so they're not all just little babies. I struggled with figuring out how to use this for a bit, but eventually figured out that I needed to put one on each side of this machine thing. 
Yep, yeah, drag it over there. Nope, not there. Other one. <laughs> I, yeah, had a little trouble here. I wanted to make sure... I don't know, this was weird. Are you sure? Yes. And I got some points for that. <laughs> it sucked them up into the machine. It's a little scary, honestly. It, it was a little frightening. But there he is! 8-inch Hans! <laughs> Congratulations! Your Hans is now tier 2. So then, I brought him out. Three Hans become one. Equipped him. Get my big, big boy Hans there. There he is! He's so cute! I want to do that with all of them, but it's kind of expensive to get three of them. And like with my cow, I can't even get more of that one since it's not there anymore. But yeah, there he is. I love him. Look how big he is. He seems more like, honestly, like a 16 inch. So next up, I decided to check out the market for the first time. They told me how to use it, and basically this is where people go in the game to sell their squish. It's like a, you know, a meetup, basically. Uh, people put them up on these pedestals and you can set a price for them and then whoever happens to be around at the moment can buy them. So uh, yeah, my, my goal was to get Avery here since they didn't have him in the claw machine so I wanted to check this out, see what people were selling, what the prices were looking like because as you can see I only have 26 squish bucks at the moment. Uh, they got a sunny here. Um, I also wanted to kind of test this out and set up my own little stand. Got a Lana Bot stand, so I was running my own small business here. I put uh, the unicorn that PJ gave me up for sale, um, which I feel a little bad about, but you know, <laughs> neither of us really want it. It was it was an accidental crane acquisition that PJ got. Um, it suggested I list it for twenty five thousand, which. I didn't think anybody would buy it for. I think I ended up listing it for two fifty or something like that. Uh, and somebody did eventually buy it, but I didn't record that. And they actually had this whole thing where we like haggled on the price. They sent me a, a whisper, and um, we negotiated down from three hundred to I think two fifty or two hundred. Yeah, um, there's some really cute ones here, but they were really really expensive. Thirty two thousand, like. It took me an hour to get a thousand. All that fishing, you get, you know, 30 a fish. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Um, some people were definitely 20,000 for this corgi. Um, so yes, yeah, so I found this Avery, um, but I did not have 5,000. I came back, I had been grinding all day. They also had, um, oh, I forget what this axolotl is called, um, Archie? But yeah, um, I was short the 5000 after grinding all day, and I could not find the, the shop owner to negotiate. I was trying to haggle for thirty or uh, 3000 um, but I realized that I needed to leave and get the rest of the money and hope that he was still there or one like him was still there. But I really, really wanted that Avery, even though it was technically pretty overpriced <laughs> at 5000 for that. But I mean, considering that other ones were like 2000 what are you going to do? Or 20,000? What are you going to do? <laughs> but yeah, luckily I, I grinded some more, got some more fishing and stuff done, and Avery was still here! So I was able to grab him, even though, like, kind of like in real life, I ended up paying a bit too much for him. But whatever, he was my Daiso, I wanted him. Um, you can see PJ changed into a frog. We had a whole day um, grinding for money. But yeah, I got Avery! I got Avery! Uh, this was really, really exciting. <laughs> Literally spent hours getting the money for this that I did not record. Um, I was so excited. It was such a saga. Um, I accidentally picked up Hans. I'm trying to pick up Avery. Please, please, let me show you. Um, and my baby, my Daiso Avery. I have him in real life, and he's one of my favorites. I love him. So one other thing that happened, that was actually going to be the end, but um, I got my friend Christina, who just got into Squishmallows, to start collecting Squishmallows, and I told her about this game. So she made an account, and we met up, and she has a YouTube too, I'll link it. Um, this was really fun because we actually, in real life, used to meet up in uh, Panera <laughs> and hang out there. 
she has been calling me a fairy lately, so I got some fairy wings, and we went furniture shopping. I decided to finally get some night sky stuff for my house, because remember I was talking about getting a telescope, and I figured this could kind of be my conclusion to this video. I got my Daiso, I got a bunch of squish, and now I have also the telescope that I promised you all that I was going to get. So that was really exciting. Uh, I decided to redo my room and I made it like astronomy themed, space themed. I got the carpet and the sparkle lights and stuff. So yeah, this is my whole house here now. Um, my final house tour. Finally, <laughs> my friend Christina and I went shopping. She wanted to get another Squishmallow. And I also decided to get one more for the road. Decided to get Dawn because she's one that I've been wanting in real life. So here is my last claw machine. Uh, luckily she was in the infamously easy spot where I've gotten a couple of my others. Right up front. And I grabbed her, yay! She's so cute, I love deer. And here is me with Dawn and my squad. So thank you all so much for watching this quick little series of the Roblox Squishmallows game. I really enjoyed hanging out in this world, and I'll probably play this game a bit more on my own, but these are some of the highlights of my experience. Uh, I got some really cute Squishmallows, I'm really happy, I feel like it went really well, and I love my squad, I love my buddies, it's been really fun, and I hope you all enjoyed it too. Please like and subscribe if you did, and let me know what you want to see next. Take care. Bye!